Hey everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen, and today we're going to finish our baby shark cake with sponges, corals, and seaweed. And we're going to start with the seaweed first because it's the easiest and it's the most versatile. You can use the same design to make confetti or streamers or anything like that. Roll out your green or whatever color you got. We're going to go with green here because it's seaweed. Take your marker, whatever thickness you want, marker, pencil, whatever, and wrap it around it. When you cut it out, make sure it's skinny at the top, you know, like a pointed blade of grass, and then spiral it down, put it aside, and that is it. <laughs> you have just made seaweed or confetti or streamers. Uh, again, here's a different marker. Put it, wrap it around. You don't have to grease it. You don't have to do anything. It's not going to stick to it. You want to be even simpler, just take a piece and twist it like you're wringing out a washcloth or something like that, and then lay it down, let it harden. It doesn't take long for these guys to harden either, maybe like an hour or so, and it's ready to go. I found something even skinnier to use. I'm using one of my pokey tools just so it's a tighter coil. Like I said, whatever size, whatever shape, make your coils, and once they harden, you see I'm just kind of gently twisting and pulling as I go, just kind of pulling the marker out very carefully, you know, don't go crazy. Yeah, that's it. You got it. There you go. When you stick your seaweed in the cake, and there's the other one, just kind of twist it in like you're screwing in a light bulb. It works great. <laughs> All right, this is, I'm going to call it a sponge because it's the closest thing I could find when I googled imaged <laughs> ocean things. Basically, you're just going to make a tea like in golf you know, skinny all the way through, a big bob blob at the top, use your round tool like that and hollow it out a little bit to make a cup, flatten off the edge if you need to, and put it aside, and that's it. It doesn't have to face straight upward, it can face to the side a little. When you make them though, make them in clumps, they do come in groups, it looks better that way, and do different heights. This is the last one I'm going to show you. I'm calling this coral, it's not, you know, perfectly traditional coral, it's dead coral. So we'll, we'll go with that. Roll out a piece and imagine you're just making a piece of Swiss cheese. It's thin, it's rectangular, you'd use different size circles and just start cutting wedges out of it until it's very Swiss cheesy. <laughs> it's really the only word I can use to describe it. I don't have it in my cake that I made for the baby shark that you've seen the pictures of in the other videos yet, or already. But it still works great with any ocean theme. I did it a lot with like mermaids and uh, Ariel in particular. I have a bunch of pictures with um, with this type of style in it. It just fills it in. It gives it a neat look. And yeah, I just laid it over a couple pieces of paper towel like you see to make it curvy. Stick it aside. It dries fast and you're done. So check out my other Baby Shark videos. I got a whole montage of them. Hopefully you'll like and subscribe. Please send me pictures if you guys make anything. I'd love to see them. And thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.